this is Larry Lurcy and welcome to Photo Education Online. I'm going to show you today how to combine uh, images in Photoshop when you've got uh, multiple exposures and you're not necessarily wanting to do HDR through a HDR plugin or even the, HD, the HDR uh, function in Photoshop. Uh, just more of a simple blending of two images. And uh, when you would use this is a, a shot like this, for example, where um, you expose here for all the stone, and that looks nice, but the uh, sky is blown out, and, and you've lost that. So what you do, if you are thinking about it, is you go ahead and shoot a second exposure, but you... Uh, uh, adjust your settings for the so you're exposing for the sky so that the sky looks nice and blue but now we've blocked up all of the uh, stone here so we're going to take these two images and blend them into one image that looks uh, nicer than either of them the way I'm going to do this is first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, this layer and drag it onto the other so that we have them in the same file together let me just hit F if we can focus in on this. And um, I actually shot this on a tripod where they line up perfectly, but let's say you didn't have a tripod and yours are off a little bit, so make things a little more difficult. Okay, so now we've got two layers on here of the same subject at different exposures, but they're not lined up quite right. First thing you want to do is hold down shift and click the other layer so we've got both layers selected right here. Then go up here to edit auto align layers I usually just leave it here on auto 99 percent of the time auto works best hit OK Photoshop goes to work and let's take a look how it did pretty good they're lined up pretty closely um, so now here's what we're gonna do next uh, what we need to do is get rid of the sky on this top one so what I'm going to do is just select the top layer and I'm going to add a layer mask clicking this button right here that's our layer mask then I'm going to select a brush right here I want to go up here and pick a make sure that it is a uh, the hardness is all the way to the left so it's a soft brush and I'm going to go with an opacity somewhere in the 15 to 20 range you don't want to go too high uh, because it will uh, won't look right. And then what I'm going to do is just kind of sweep through here these areas and it may take multiple passes until you get it how you want. And the trick is overlapping the rock just enough that you don't get a halo around it but that you also don't get kind of a dark edge. And it's okay for it to be a little dark around the edge because um, a lot of times the stone looks like that anyways. But uh, you just don't want to go too far with it come through here do the same thing and again uh, you could certainly go through and um, select the sky areas and and go in and, and mask it that way but this is a way just to do a little bit faster and and still get a pretty good looking result I'm gonna come through the middle there a little bit maybe one more up there a little more up here in the corner this is also the time if there's any of the stone you want to darken down a little bit um, you can also just uh, do a little bit along there maybe we want to darken down this side just a touch maybe even uh, along the bottom here just kind of give it a little bit of a vignette effect I'm going to do one more pass through here because I think that underneath should be darker as well maybe the grass a little darker Okay, so this looks pretty good. We're going to do one last thing just to make it look a little bit better. And I'm going to go down here and add an adjustment layer to levels. And what I'm going to do is while I'm holding down the option key, I'm going to drag this across until I see the first little hint of um, areas blowing out right there. I'm going to move back and forth. I don't want, I don't want this come back till there's just it's mostly black the minute things start appearing I'm gonna stop same thing from the black side come across until things start blocking up probably right about there and there you go um, if we bring in the other image let's get this back here 
So there's the original and there's our processed image. Of course, we're going to need to crop out a little bit of the edges, but uh, definitely has a, a lot more impact to it. Looks nicer, and um, but it still has a, a fairly realistic look to it. It doesn't have the really strange HDR type look. Uh, just basically bringing back a little of the detail in some of those blown out areas. So that's kind of a, a quick way of doing it. Um, uh, especially if you don't have a, a tripod or something to line up things exactly, that's a, a fast way to, to line things up and then just go in and kind of brush away what you don't want. So uh, give that a try and see what you think. Let me know.